Hello there and today we have a disappointing products video. They're products that have crudely disappointed me to the point that I've just thrown them in a little box and said okay wait there, behave until I'm going to just roast you in a video. So yeah we're just gonna get roasting. I mean really. I feel like a grandma. Like oh yes let's just get roasting the products. I was like what? No, I need to get down with the modern day slang. Like, I, but I don't envisage that I could ever, you know, kind of casually throw, oh, that's lit, you know, to the end of a sentence, like lit. I'm feeling lit right now. Oh, this is so lit. Like, I think I'm past that at this point, you know, or like, oh, that's so dope. I don't think so. I Anyway, grandma, get back in your corner. Okay, but let's just, anyway, get on with this. Okay, so the first product is by Kat Von D. This is the Locket Founded Liation. I was extremely lucky to receive three of these from three of my fabulous subscribers. I really, really appreciate that, uh, but I fecking hate the foundation. Uh, it's definitely one of the worst that I've tried. I feel kind of bad, you know, it, at the beginning of the sentence, oh, thank you so much for sending this to me. I fucking hate it. I mean, really, thank you for the lovely gift. Fucking awful. Why did you get me that? No, I don't mean it like that. Obviously, I really appreciate having the opportunity to test this out. But honestly, it wasn't for me. I feel like if I had more youthful, less textured skin, this would probably be good for a full coverage foundation. But Unfortunately, my skin is more mature skin. I've got fine lines. I've got loads of pores. I mean, my pores seem to just be appearing by the day at this point. I have no idea what satanic magic is going on on my face right now, but it has to stop because I'm just like, excuse me, pores, back off. Seriously, back off. This just looked incredibly cakey on me. It just made my skin look so textured. And uh, yeah, it, oh, the smell, oh my gosh, like this is one of the reasons why I hate it as much as I do. The smell of this, and I've not really heard anyone talk about the smell of this, but to me it's like so like nauseating, it's just so like there, it takes over the whole room. It's as if, you know, you just ate a ton of sprouts and did the biggest trump ever and trumped out the room it's like when i use this all i can smell for the next few hours is this on my face and then coupled with the fact that my face looks like a baboon's dry ass it just isn't a good combination so unfortunately this uh locket foundation isn't for me i really wanted to like it especially because uh people did send it to me i was desperate to like it but I just can't. My skin, it just said no. But I think if you've got like really, you know, untextured um, skin, I think it could be good. But it's like the plague. It's like the devil for me. I'm just like, no. I'm going to be passing those foundations along to my friends uh, just so that they can try it out and see if it works for them. Uh, because that's the beauty of uh, makeup is that, you know, what won't work for me will work for someone else. So then we can all just be like, you know, happy friendly people passing things along to everybody just like you know when people are smoking joints and they sit in a circle it goes pass the doobie to the left hand side it's always like pass the makeup you don't like to the left hand side do you know what i mean uh i don't know again why am i pretending that i know slang i have no idea by the way i don't sit around in circles and smoke doobies that's just something that i saw on a film one day i think I don't know. Anyway, okay, so next we have the Moonlight Eyes by Essence. These look absolutely beautiful. I think that the idea is a really good idea. They're Essence, so super, super affordable. They're like a cream metallic eyeshadow. Um, and I think the idea is exceptionally brilliant, but the problem that I had with them is that they're very sheer. And I just was hoping that they'd be maybe a little bit more you know, opaque and a little bit more like visible upon my eyelids. I think the formula is really, really good. Like it's not emollient, it doesn't feel sticky. The formula is great. And I think that if you wanted a, just like a wash of a color on your eyelids, then they could be really good. I can see a lot of people would really love these. But for me, I just found that they didn't really show themselves enough 
you know, on my eyelids for me to feel like I will want to use them all the time or even again. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, no. Okay, so next we have a foundation uh, by number seven. This is the Lift and Luminate foundation. I did actually do like a first, imp I filmed the first impression and then I tested it out for a few days and I filmed the review and I had the video there. I started editing it and then something went wrong with it and I lost it and then I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do it all again. The video was quite boring, I thought. It was just me like, overly explaining everything so I just figured well I'll just pop it in this video and save everyone the long boring explanations. This foundation comes with a lot of claims. It claims that it will basically make your skin look radiant and firm and more youthful but for me it had the opposite effect. I didn't find that it was like actually that dewy. Um, it was more of like a natural finish. It made my skin look quite dry. It didn't last well on my skin. It was a, at best, like light coverage. Also, I believe that this is a reformulation and uh, when I was reading other people's reviews on it, everyone seemed to love the old formula and the general consensus was that uh, this new formula just was not like a patch on the old one. Uh, apparently the old formula made your face look so dewy and everything that I actually expected that this one would. Um, but for some reason, number seven decided to mess with uh, something that was working and now they've uh, created a substandard product by the sounds of it but um, in my experience I did not like this foundation. It was kind of similar to the Stay Perfect by number seven but just not as much coverage, not as much dew and it didn't last as well. Uh, so I would definitely say if you want a, like a dewy foundation definitely go for the Stay Perfect over the Lift and Luminate. Okay, so next we have a product that I recently reviewed and did a first impression on. It's the Makeup Revolution Life on the Dance Floor uh, palette. I had absolutely fell in love with the shades in this palette. I think that they're so like pretty, uh, which is the reason why I just impulse buyed it. I was so disappointed with the actual formula. I found that the shimmers just uh, didn't really show up at all, especially like the lighter shimmers. I found that the more kind of bronzy, like cranberry, just like the darker shimmers did show up. Um, but then when they did show up, they looked a bit chunky and unflattering on my eyelids. The kind of lighter shades just did not even come to town. I think definitely like the darker colours, the formula seems to be a lot better than on the lighter shades and uh, Makeup Revolution did bring out two other palettes when they brought this one out and I know that the, there's like a warm tone palette and everyone seems to really love that one and I've seen swatches and reviews of it and it does look really really good and I think that Makeup Revolution are really good at doing like the deeper shades but because this palette is like half of it is like very very light and muted and neutral I think that it's those shades that are problematic you know so yeah for me this uh, was a real disappointment because I would have loved to have liked it just because yeah the, the shades in here are just astonishingly beautiful but just go on like a load of shit. Okay, so next we have two products, actually three products by Primark. We have the My Perfect Colour Stick Foundation. I have done first impressions on all of these. So you may have seen me actually test these out and seen me at the moment when I was like totally uh, disgruntled with them all. But the My Perfect Colour Foundation Stick, although it's like super affordable, it was awful. Like it was so unflattering on my skin. It like accentuated my pores in a way that no other foundation has managed to which you know is quite an achievement really uh, but it just made my skin look like absolutely awful I would prefer to have gone without any foundation than with this so yeah not for me the second product is the skin frost uh, stick highlighter um i swatched this one in the in primark and it looked really really good but unfortunately on the skin i just found that it didn't really do all that much it's also an extremely emollient kind of formula so it messes with uh, your kind of foundation underneath you know i've got lots of cream products that I can apply on top of my base and they don't mess around with my base. This one was just 
causing a ruckus with my base and I, I don't got time for that. So that one is a no-no for me. I'm a little bit ruthless, just like, um, you know, ranting about these Primark products in particular because they are so affordable, but still, you know, a bad product is a bad product. So I'm just telling you, getting the word out there. Uh, this one is the Face Perfecting Stick. It's meant to be a balm, which uh, minimizes the appearance of pores and just um, gives you like a smooth base for your foundation to sit on. This did absolutely nothing for me. I just didn't see any difference when I applied this. It's definitely not one that I would recommend to you. I know that Estee Lauder did one and everyone seemed to really like that product. So uh, yeah, I, I think that I would definitely want to try a face perfecting stick again in the future, but just not that one because it did fecking nothing to my face. Okay, so next we have a, another product by Primark and I feel so terrible again for bashing Primark because it is one of my new favorite places to buy makeup from. I just feel like when I die, if I enter into a Primark and that's like my heaven, I will be quite happy with that. I thought someone was coming in. I mean, really, I thought that Jesus himself was coming in to say, I'm when welcome to the gates of Primark. And I'd be like, oh, yay. Anyway, this is the Super Matte Liquid Lipstick. I do have a, another one in the shade Kim, which is an extremely kind of light pink nude. Um, and this one is in the shade Kiki. Oh, gosh, seriously. <sighs> The formula of these uh, matte lipsticks is just so incredibly drying that it accentuates every single line on your lips. Um, I wanted to try the deeper shade after I tried the lighter shade just to see if this formula would be a little bit more forgiving, but unfortunately it wasn't. Um, also, it's the kind of formula that just kind of crumbles up a bit. So, uh, you know, again, it's super, super affordable, but like for me, I, I don't want to spend like even two pounds on a product that's just going to be crap and I'm never going to wear it again. So just a little bit of a heads up, ladies and men out there. Um, I don't recommend the Super Matte Liquid Lipsticks by uh, Primarni. And just finishing off, I have a little uh, kind of loose powder highlight. This is from Lush and it's called Dream. I'm actually so excited about this. Um, when I got it, my... Uh, fiance's daughter actually gave it to me and I was like so excited to give it a go I applied way too much to my hand there um but unfortunately it was just like uber disappointing it didn't like in fact I can't even show you I look like a cocaine addict like excuse me guys while I just get my fix here um but let me just like blend it out so you can actually see it um I just found that as you've just seen it's really tricky to actually use it's like super high maintenance it doesn't have a sifter it's just like a little bottle and you always end up getting way more than you need and just like wasting a ton of it this is what it looks like on my hand and I know it looks really really like beautiful I think it looks good but on the face it has a real kind of dry look to it especially when you apply it on top of you know your powder and blush and everything I just feel like it's just not very flattering and also because it is quite a light shade it's one of those highlighters that when you look at someone face on it just kind of looks grey it looks grey on my cheeks so I don't like kind of the packaging because it's super messy I don't like how it looks on my face and I just feel like they missed the mark with this if only they could like put it into a little bottle with a sifter like NYX do with their pigments uh, or if they could maybe, I don't know, the formula is just like very dry uh, so it kind of detracts from the highlight glowy goodness because it just looks like chalk on your face Okay, so that brings me to the end of this disappointing products video I hope that you've enjoyed it Please let me know downstairs in the comments if there are any videos uh, that you would really like to see from me I would love to know I hope that you're having a great day today and thank you so much for taking time out of it to come and spend with me I really really appreciate it and I will see look by the way let me just show you this so I got this little bit of holographic cardboard in a glitter lip kit that I got from Primark um, about a month ago and I've saved it because I just think it's so pretty and the other day I was thinking I mean come on you've got to throw it away because it's just been sat on the edge of my makeup table I did like I went to put it in the bin and I just 
brought my, my arm back because I couldn't. Hey, look at it, it's so pretty. What am I ever doing with this? I have no idea, but it's there now. It's there to stay. You know what? I could contour with it. I've seen the drag queens doing that on the logo channel. By the way, if you want a really good recommendation of some great makeup videos to watch on YouTube, but go and check out the Logo channel. They have all of the um, drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race on there, showing you how they do their makeup, and I think it's so interesting. They've got such good personalities, they're so funny, and they also give some really, really good tips. So yeah, just, I don't know, I could, anyway. Anyway, that's my little friend right here, the hollow buddy. But anyway, I'm really going to go now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with more.